Hello, what up guys, how you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 325, a quarter of the way through another century. Last year we got to episode 352, that was the final episode. I think we just about might beat it this year, I'm not too sure yet. We'll see, I guess. But uh, yeah, welcome to episode number 325. It's Saturday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, as we move into the episode, do me a huge favor at the start. Smash the thumbs up button. I'm looking to see 3,000 likes from you guys. And I know you can do it. So keep showing that support. And subscribe to the channel as well. If you're new. So, today is all about... Uh, SBC fun. So it's the it's the episode after I get my rewards and as you guys know that means that I have a club not full of fodder but I have the most amount of players in my club that I will have all week uh, because I've actually opened some packs uh, and, and, and actually we get some uh, <coughs> obje objective packs as well because we unlock ourselves at all. Now I had done this within the first like five or six hours of him being out i just no lifed it for the for that evening i had no other plans i had the air conditioning on i watched white gold on netflix good good funny program and i just knocked out the park just got it all done and unlocked myself the 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 full version of atal so i actually bought the foot birthday one to begin with 24k sold him for 60k 58k something like that so i actually made profit and save myself a little bit of time um, and yeah unlock the the 94 version this is an unbelievable card he's a series legend of course from last year's road to glory they've given us a 94 rated five star five star version of that i mean i am very very thankful club 90 like by miles as well his stats are unbelievable for 20 games of squad battles or rivals you can unlock this beast it's too good to be true. Surely, surely it's going to be a fraud in game or something. I don't know. But yeah, I obviously am um, over the moon to get our talent to the into the series because the best card he had had all year was the Foot Birthday. And he was always just out of my price range. Could never quite afford him. So for us to actually have uh, uh, the best version of him that we're going to get this year uh, in our club for free and, and multiple versions of him as well is kind of nuts. So we'll, uh, we'll use some of them in SBCs going forwards, of course, like the fodder ones. Uh, even the 91 Atal. If you can't be bothered to play 20 games in July, that's fair enough, whatever. Um, you, can get, you can get the 91 for like... I don't know, is it like seven games or something? It's not very much. It's it's a decent decent little grind uh, to get yourself some ridiculous cards. <clears throat> so, I uh, annoyingly kept packing myself <laughs> duplicate untradeable Iniesta. And I didn't want to waste any duplicate players. So, every time I got him, uh, I had to just go off and do like another... SBC to get another pack um, and welcome the the the, uh, the now non duplicate Iniesta back into the club. Uh, so yeah, I get a little 81 plus player pick um, and we we just take the 83 from it. They've been a mixed bag for me, you know. Some of them have been all right, some of them have just been trash. Uh, but what can you do, right? So uh, these are basically all just one player packs, just 75 plus rated rare gold players. I cut in Niesta again, which means I then do another 81 plus player pick. Um, <clears throat> I think, or have I duplicated this? I don't know what I've done in the editing. Oh yeah, well done, Tom. You've just duplicated that pack. What I should have shown you was a footies prime gold players pack from one of the footies voting SBCs. I don't know what's going on in editing there. That right there is a classic case of Tom being a little bit tired when he was cutting up the video. Um, but anyway, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Uh, we do get ourselves a little walkout from one of the 75 plus rated players. Uh, it's a fuck freeze and we end up actually getting ourselves a 90 rated fuck freeze Casemiro, which from a one player pack, just from doing the objective for Atal is a huge dub. Um, so not only did we make like 30, 35Ks profit on foot birthday Atal, and we unlocked ourselves a foot birthday Atal, a 91 foot is Atal, and a 94 uh, foot is Atal. We also got ourselves a 90 rated piece of fodder in foot freeze Casemiro. I mean, what a huge dub that whole objective was. It's un unbelievable. Uh, so, of course, what we actually got 
on Friday night was we got a couple of SBC players. We got Bruno Perez, who uh, unfortunately now is in the Turkish league, which has probably brought his price down a little bit. But yeah, it's just not amazing. Uh, good card, just difficult to link uh, unless you use Brazilians. Uh, and then we also got, what did we get? We got uh, Kingsley Coman from from Bayern, which again, I didn't really rate the, the choices between him and David Silva that much. I uh, wasn't too bothered about either player. Uh, however, you know, go mad. If you if you want that Coman, go ahead and get him in your club. Uh, and then the Arsenal dynamic duo in, in uh, Friendly's Objectives, which... Look like good cards, to be fair. Both four-star, four-star. Got some really nice stats in the 90s. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of the friendly objectives. Like, I'm not... I don't think it's great, like, content for you. Because it's basically people just play gold and gold or, or whatever. Or people play stingy and, you know, it's, it's just a, a game mode that annoys me. Because you get into a point where everyone's gold and gold. And then if someone doesn't do it to you you kind of get annoyed. And I'm like, well, why should I get annoyed? He wants to play the game. That's fair enough. So I just kind of stick away from it. I don't really do the online friendlies uh, objectives. And you know what? I'm all right with that. So I might do the, the Arsenal di dynamic duo. I haven't really looked at what the objectives actually are for it. If they're easy enough, then yeah, I'll go for it. But uh, neither would ma really make it in my team. Uh, they'd just be fodder at the end of the day. Uh, and, you know, as it is July, I can I can be bothered to play some weekend league and I can be bothered to do some squad battles. But for some reason, online friendlies is just one thing I'm not that interested in. I don't know why, why that would be. But are you guys the same? Are you completely the opposite? Let me know what your... Uh, your process is on, on like playing the games uh, in, in the different game modes uh, at this stage of the game. I'm curious to know what you will play and what you won't play um, as we sort of come towards the end of the cycle. So, what are we, about halfway through the video here? I can't... Uh, I, we might be on marquee matchups packs. Yes, we are. So this isn't this week's marquee matchups. This is last week's marquee matchups. Uh... When the way I've worked it at the moment is I pretty much wait the entire week to actually be able to complete that SBC because I have nothing in my club all week on a Thursday night when it comes out because I've already spent them all in upgrade packs and then I have fodder after I get my rewards on a Thursday so it allows me to do the previous week's marquee matchups which is fine it doesn't it doesn't really matter does it uh, you know one week I just won't spend my players and I'll get caught up. Um, Small prime gold players pack next then. We are going to get boards from it. Uh, and knowing that pretty much everything boards is relatively expensive, uh, that's that's quite a good thing. You know, it helps make marquee matchups definitely worth it. Uh, and we get ourselves a little 84 pizzy, which I, I think the 84s and 85s have come down quite significantly. Um, unless there's been an incredible SBC. Or well, no, there's not another SBC out until... Actually, I don't know what the 88 times 5 pack has done to the market yet so uh because uh, i'm filming this video at like 6 35 p.m on friday night uh so I, I can t i know what the content was last night but i haven't seen what it's done to the market um but from marquee matchups we actually pack a 91 rated oblack huge huge w in my opinion um it's very good uh, because we can just sell him on uh, and you'll be able to see that we also list up Luka Modric as well. Uh, Oblak sells 44k. I think I saw him later on that day at like 35. So we got him, we sold him for a good price at the time. He then dropped with the market, uh, but I would assume maybe he's gone up again a little bit um, as people play their weekend league for La Liga objectives. Uh, and then yes, we sell Modric as well. He will eventually sell. Uh, so that's actually injected like nearly 100k into the club which is brilliant. Um, we get ourselves a... What do we get here? Oh, this is the Tots pack. I literally did this pack and didn't care what I got from it. I mean, yes, I would have preferred a 90 to an 85, uh, but I needed it just for the... I needed the team of the week or team of the season player for this 85 plus times 10 upgrade, of which we are getting rid of De Gea, Fabinho, Casemiro, Lodi, and Foot Birthday Atal. It was quite a costly SBC, I guess, but... For the risk of that, we get 10 players that are 85 and above. So it's actually not too bad. You, even if you get a bad pack, you're kind of trading out one set of fodder for another set of fodder. So it's, it's it was worth it, I think. Um, over 400,000 coins in our bank account right now. Plus, we also have Foot Birthday Mendy and Summer Stars Bravo in the club. So pretty good. 
But this right here is what I get from my 85 times 10. We get ourselves... Oh, that's going to be a striker from Dortmund. Uh, is of course, Erling Haaland. A 91 rated headliner. Um, I was hoping to see maybe a 94 or 90. Actually, I was really hoping to get a team of the year in that pack. Wanted to see Virgil van Dijk or something. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. What we did get, though, was Haaland, Alfonso Davies, Ruben Diaz, Lukaku, ASM, and then some other fodder players. All of which will count as fodder. Maybe, just maybe, I keep St. Maximin to the side. I keep Alfonso Davies to the side. If there are objectives for Bundesliga or Prem over the next couple of weeks, who knows? Um... Because they are still technically kind of usable, I would say. Uh, but yeah, there are better versions of both players in, in SBCs and uh, Team of the Year, Team of the Season for Alfonso Davies. So with some of that fodder, we were able to craft the 86 player pick, which is one of four players, all 86 and above. Is this one worth it? Well, for me, oh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't really worth it. We only get an 88. Uh, that's not a good one. At all, I would say. Yeah, really not that amazing. I just take the highest rated at that point for, for fodder. Um, because even, even Mbabu, who's probably the best player there, we've owned him before and I wouldn't use him at this stage of the game. I think EA have actually done a really good job. Uh, you know, we have the issue of fullbacks at centre back and everyone classing it as like ratty. They've done a really good job over the last month or so of giving us high 90 pace centre backs. So people actually use centre backs at fullback. No, at centre backs at centre back. Like the Ramos and the, you know, like, I guess, Tots Varan and stuff, which you might consider ratty. I, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be, uh, yeah, I, I, would, I would take it if you would call that one ratty because uh, it is Varan at the end of the day. Uh, I've currently got Varan and Mendy in my, uh, in my squad, the best versions of both of them in my, in my squad. So, yeah, I guess I've moved on to become a disgusting rat on this game. Uh, but anyway... This was the idea for the starting 11 for the weekend league. Change it up a little bit. Um, screw the chemistry. I wanted to get Atal in the squad. And uh, this is what I had gone with. And it's actually going to change again at the start of tomorrow's episode. Not by much. But I also had a little idea which I didn't think I was going to be able to afford. Uh, and we'll talk more in a moment about, about Luka Modric. Which is the player we're actually going to be able to afford. And... Um, yeah, essentially, I listed up the fodder players that were tradable from my rewards, like Thiago Silva and stuff. Uh, and it's going to push me up towards 500k, which is pretty much the price of Summer Stars Luka Modric, who is a player that I have looked at the card and really wanted to use ever since he came out. Uh, he was always just a little bit too expensive for my tastes. And this was like what I planned to use my squad as. Four triple two, uh, Hazard and Neymar up front, Usman and Mbappe out wide with Acuna and Atal, two club 90 players as CDMs. Oof, lovely. But I spotted a cheap Modric on the market that no one was, for some reason, was buying at the time. So I got to the point where I was selling stuff, discarding stuff. I needed to get up to 485k because I had seen him go for like 510, 515. And no one in six minutes bought this one at 485. I don't know why, but I snapped him up. I wanted Luka Modric for this weekend league. Now, I realize that that is probably an error. In the way that the La Liga players have gone up in price because of the weekend league plus objectives. And will completely crash back down again. Uh, they will completely crash down when it when it gets to Sunday or even probably tonight, Saturday night. Um, but yeah, I don't really care. We, we made good profit on a, on a Modric and a... And a, a Oblak, so it's, it's just not that I'm not that bothered in all honesty. Um, so yes, I mean, we are we're sat with a, a very nice squad now, uh, and again, there is actually going to be one more change made. Uh, with, the, with this particular change, taking Usman Dembele out, we can put Modric as a CDM with Acuna and try Atal further forward as a wide cam. Pretty excited to do that because. He looks very good. Uh, but like I said, I think at the start of tomorrow's episode, there is actually going to be yet another change. Um, and I do realize that I've just shown you. I saw a, a Tots Alaba in my club. I can't remember if I showed you that pack. I put another three reds in and got, you know, another ultimate thingy. Where, where, where was that content, Tom? Have I forgotten to put that in? Was that in yesterday's video? I am well and truly... I, I forget where we're at. I might have just spoiled something in tomorrow's video. I'm so far ahead of recording, guys. I do apologize. But anyway, there was a Tots Alaba in my club. And if I've somehow missed that, I uh, yeah, I, I had to choose a, a Tots Alaba instead of uh, 
I think it was like 97 Chilwell could have gone for him. Or I can't remember who the other one. Tots Bamba. But it turns out Alaba was the most expensive uh, for my ultimate champions upgrade. I don't know why I haven't put that in. I'm very sorry. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button. 3,000 likes, that is your target. And I thank you for all of your amazing support. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers for that as well. Uh, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are down below, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll catch you tomorrow for another episode. Peace.